Yeah, I'll walk down through the yeah. brush here. Okay, we're ready to level here. What? We're ready to level. Cut. Cut. Cut.
This is the executive director of Meadowwood. I'm talking with John. All you've got is like you see like this one today.
Go blind. Get your head here. That's a done deal. <laughs> what did you do wrong? It's a done deal. <laughs> <laughs> Which time is this event? How many times have we done this deal? <laughs> yeah, how's that going to For the big moment, final project, hang the new sign. How'd you measure? Center to center? I got about 31 center to center. Quarter? 31 and quarter. I know it's 31 and quarter. What's that? Is that? Short 16. 15 and 5 eighths? That'll work. at the dining hall. Well, we're going to have a professional one. We'll just take this basic bottle. Yeah, it's a rather large dining hall. Nice barbecue pit there. Yeah, we're going to have a professional one. We'll just take this basic bottle. Yeah, it's a rather large dining hall. Nice barbecue pit there. There's that big sign over there, Greg. That's the memorial flagpole. Flag on it today, right next to the barbecue pit in the dining hall. Now we move from the barbecue pit up a small trail here. We find Astoria's cabin. Oh, there's a sign that says Astoria here. Crack 
picture of it from the outside. And we'll just pan around and look at some of the other cabins. There's the Umatilla Lodge dining hall. Here's a nice uh, little track to wipe your feet off in the snow. Crafty guard dog station. Well, here's a look at the deck outside. Just outside the dining hall. They built this in 1991, two days. The other side of the claim, caretaker's cottage. And across the road from that is the shop buildings. And then we walk, follow these fellow recluses down toward the swimming pool. Yeah, here's the, uh, what seems to be many, many miles of PVC pipe that they run the water for the uh, swimming pool through to solarly heat it. There's one of the pools in the background. We'll get down a little closer and take another look. Down at the pools, there's dressing rooms and there's Actually, two pools here. One's sheep deeper than the other. Got a lodge in there, so when the ice forms, that it doesn't uh, break swimming pools into little pieces. There's a swimming pool building in the background with a boy sitting on the, standing on the bridge that overlooks a sluiceway that usually is full of water. Not this time. Last year, 1991, it was, had about six inches of water running through it. Down to the uh, lake, there's another bridge over to the administration building where they're building a new deck this year. And then in the far background is what's called the lower meadow where they have uh, field games and, and recreation for the campers. We are uh, just down the hill from, well, in this general direction is the dining hall. And it takes a lot of walking around. Now here's our three derelicts walking away from the administration building area down toward the lake area. And above us on the left, up through the trees, is many, many big A-frame cabins and a whole separate another area with uh, some of the older part of uh, Meadowood uh, original campground area. We'll keep walking, get these guys moving a little faster and get down the lake here pretty quick. Well, now we're approaching the lake area. It's a bumpy road. Little campfire area here. They put canoes out on this lake. And usually has a little more water in it. Oh, we don't have to worry about rebuilding the dock. They took it out. Okay, John. picture of one of the old A-frames with the shower rooms underneath. And through the trees you can see a couple of other buildings. Another A-frame over there. Yeah, there's another one over here. 
We'll get up a little and look at them a little closer. Of course, we got to go up pretty steep trails. Yeah, there's a big A-frame. Kind of painted windows and named Cherokee on it. Whole construction and really steep roofs. Sheds that snow real good. Yeah, here's Ocean Lakes. Ocean Lakes cabin here. And across from it is another big A-frame with the shower room underneath. Everything uphill for us old men. Choctaw Lodge. Bunch of bunk beds in here. And up the steep stairs in the A-frame, some more bunk beds. are down through the uh, windows of the A-frame to the lake. Just one of the cabins just uses a laundry room. Built by the Gresham Lodge. And there's Chippewa over there. Hermiston's shower rooms. Tillamook's cabin. These are all up above the lake. Under one of the original dining halls. Store bought ones. I said, God, those are store bought. Now they're using it as store with bunk beds. This ain't store bought. These are the huskies here. These are the ones. Those These are the style we're going to build, huh? Yeah. And this is a good idea. These things with a rope on the end. This one here. Got a rope on the end. It's like, it's like the arm, yeah. but I wonder if that's, maybe they're going to have dressers. Kids are here for two or three weeks. Dressers right there. Let's take the belt one. Florence's cabin. I'm hearing rave reviews from inside. We'll check it out. Nice. Spacious living area. I even have their own bathroom. Oh. Their own bathroom. I don't know why. The handicap. What kind of kids are going to have? I got a nephew. It says Wolverine shoes on. It's got a good place to get on the shoes. This is our humble home here. What you see here is what you're out on the smoking port. When you leave here, you leave it here. So how much did we spend tonight, John? <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, I didn't That's take... Ugly. What? I didn't even take the lens That's cap right, off. Because you haven't got the cover off the deal. I don't even give a shit. So how much did we spend? <laughs> For all these blondes. You know we don't need that.
this is a true life detective. Pardon the camera, but we gotta rush in on this. Better zoom. We got a suspect here. Thanks. There he goes, there he goes. He's going in that room. There he's making contact with someone. I'm not kidding you. Because now we got we got a hand one. God bless America. This game is over. Oh, Burr. Excuse me. <laughs> True detectives. Oh, what do we got here? We got a crack user over here. <laughs> we got a crack user. What's he doing down there? Zoom in. He never speaks until he gets in the motel. No. He's the guy that wants to go home early. See, huh? the beds are made, all the bonds are out. Where's the TV set? All right, there it is. See, no TV's on. We don't even have Dr. Ruth. Yeah, Dr. Ruth. Dr. Ruth. Dr. Ruth. Mike. Okay. 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 6.15 a.m. Sunday. I'm ready to go home. I already have a shower. Look what, look what this is. <laughs> Disgusting. I'm going to go find the paper. Well, it's 6.25 a.m. Sunday. I got run out of the room because I'm awake and ready to go. I want to go home. Anyway, here's a shot of our motel. And uh, I'm across the four-lane highway. Let me just push the red light. Or the walk light, I guess. I'll get back to that. And here's a, now I cross the street. See if I can walk a little bit here. There's uh, John and there's John Boys. My room is right by my van there. There's their Pepsi machine. Oh. Jensen's Motel. Thank you very much for staying here. Work day at Meadowood Speech Camp. Yesterday. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Bro. You're welcome. That's waved yet, though. <laughs> We got a, a Meadowood breakfast. Now, Elks, you want to go down with us? No, I'm on the wall. Still? Without wheels? <laughs> yeah. Well, at least you got a half gallon now. <laughs> yeah, we can get those other two guys up. We're going to go down and have some breakfast. Morning. 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 What can I help you with? 